Hey people, this is Kim here. So today I'm at the zoo and as usual I'm working at the reptile house. So I thought I'd just make a video introducing um, the place that I work at and you know, come on, let, let me show you around. So we're right outside the reptile house right now and this is the pygmy crocodile enclosure right here. See, there he is. So cutie, isn't he? Look at that face. Oh, and he's really tiny. He's probably only about two feet long. Get him. <laughs> Come on, let's go check out the other animals. And this right here is one of my favorite exhibits. This is the Asturian crocodiles. See right over there on the bank, that's one of the big females. The camera will focus for me. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. But now that you can see, there she that's our female, one of the smaller females. And there are about six um, Asturian crocodiles in this enclosure right here. And right over there in the other enclosure, we have false gharials. But yeah, I'm not sure if I can show you because the water is pretty murky and you can't really see too many of them. By the way, let's move on. So this here is the main indoor exhibit of the reptile house. So you can see these are all our, our exhibits. This here right here is a big uh, king cobra exhibit. We'll see if we can find our king cobra. Maybe not. Oh well, he can be pretty hard to spot among all this vegetation, but you see, we've got many exhibits right here in our main reptile, reptile house. You can see our iguanas right there. It's a pretty male. You should be able to see another three in this enclosure as well. And right over here you can see our Asian water monitors. There should be quite a few of them as well in this enclosure. See that's one. It's a beautiful animal. So they climb right to the top of these um, these branches for their sunbathing every morning. Sometimes in the afternoon as well. Or they'll be right at the back taking a soak in the water. We'll take a little bit of a walk this way. You can see these are the river terrapins enclosure. So sometimes I'll have to feed these guys and I'll have to prepare their food. And right down there we've got more tortoises actually. All the way around these are tortoise enclosures. And this here is one of my favorite enclosures. This is the enclosure of the Waggler's Viper. You see this one right here. As you can see, it's a beautiful snake. It is native to Malaysia. And I think this is probably my favorite species of venomous snake to work with because it's very lazy. It's, a, it's typically a very lazy, very placid snake and it doesn't go flying off the hook. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't give me a hard time. <laughs> now this is something really special. I really hope that you can see her on video, but that is a red blood python with a clutch of eggs. Can you see right there? Those white eggs. Yeah, I'm really excited to be able to see this myself. A python with a clutch of eggs right here in our zoo. So, we might have to pull that clutch a little later on, I'm not sure, and have it uh, transferred to the incubation room. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful clutch of eggs. I wish I knew how many. <laughs> Now 
And this over here is where we keep our amphibians, or frogs, mostly frogs. This enclosures. It's pretty neat. It's actually on the top floor of the reptile house. You can see all, all the exhibits I showed you earlier on the bottom. Well, let me take you now on a behind the scenes tour. This is um, where only there's staff allowed to access. So the first place I'm going to show you is our rat room. So this is where we keep all our rats to feed our reptiles, our snakes, mice as well. We breed mice and rats all right here in this, uh, this room. These are breeding tubs for rats. Big breeder rats right there, guinea pigs. Okay, this right here at the back is uh, here's a makeshift kitchen where we usually prepare the food for our animals and this at the back is the holding section or the quarantine section where normally we have sick animals come in here or new animals that have to go into quarantine we keep them right here and this is interesting I'm not sure if you can see but this here is a juvenile king cobra somewhere in there I'm not sure if you can see him but he's there all right We also have a juvenile crocodile in here, uh, right there. It's pretty interesting to get new animals from time to time. They come in here before they're transferred out into their other exhibits. And this here is one of our residents in the quarantine area, in the back area. His name is Sam Seng De Iguana, meaning gangster in our local language. So you can see he's bobbing his head at me and he's actually back here because he's displaying hyper aggressive behavior and he attacks uh, he tends to attack people he attacks the glass so he's actually improved a lot right now we've been trying to handle him as much as possible so yeah i hope i really hope he tames down still still gonna need a lot of work but yep we're on the way <laughs> And this in here is our incubation room. All the snake eggs come here, all the crocodile eggs. But you see, it's, there's not very much to see in here because we don't have any eggs, um, probably except that clutch of blood python eggs that I showed you earlier. Right here in this exhibit, we have the Aldabran tortoises. These are the world's second largest tortoises, right behind the Galapagos tortoise. Just one of them. I think this is one of our big males. Hello. Hey there. Good boy. Look at him. Such a gentle creature and so beautiful. <laughs> it's another one right there. <laughs> so this is the back part of the exhibits. The Again, only staff is allowed in here. It's not open to public. It's off limits. So th from the back here, this is where we get to access all the enclosures that you saw in the front earlier. There's the back access right there. And this over here is the greenhouse where we keep all our large constrictors that are not on display to public. You can see. These are all where we keep our big snakes in all these little cubicles. And this over here is of course my favorite place to work. This is the general snake room where most of the snakes go. So I spend a lot of time in here cleaning the snake. These are empty right now. 
cleaning the snakes and just feeding them and hanging out with them. And this guy over here is one of my favorites. He is a shore pit viper. It's a male. It's a beautiful black snake. Ooh. So yeah, that's that's just that's about it for my where I work and I hope you guys enjoy it looking around. So thanks for watching this video.